Hey guys, this is Vlogmas Day 3 with Amejin, and in this episode I'm going to be talking about a resource, a really important resource that any learners of Japanese um, should use when studying Japanese. So this resource is primarily for building vocabulary, or goi. And if you use textbooks like Nakama or Genki or Yokoso textbook series, I actually have all of those books, and I I have read through most of them, mainly Yokoso, the second series, and Nakama, the first and second series. Genki, not so much, but. These textbooks have a lot of vocabulary that you should know as a learner of Japanese, especially a beginner intermediate learner of Japanese. What I did over the years was collect all this vocabulary, I typed it up, and I put it into a flashcard, an online flashcard system. And it's not just it's not just regular flashcards, they are smart flashcards. And more specifically, they are spaced repetition flashcard systems. And I uploaded them to a website called Brainscape, brainscape.com. This is a fantastic website because it lets you rate each card uh, on a scale of one to five, how well you know the card or how well you knew it. One being, I didn't know it at all, and five being, I know this perfectly, like, I have it down, I memorize it. Cards that are marked on uh, lower numbers, like one through three, will be shown to you more often than cards that are marked four or five. This is a fantastic system. I use it all the time when I'm studying new words or vocabulary, or if I... Or if I'm studying a new chapter in a textbook, I always just immediately go to the vocabulary section and I type up all the vocabulary from Japanese to English and then from English to Japanese. That way I get both sides. If I'm trying to write a paper, right, and I'm, my mind is running on English and I want to think of um, the Japanese word for an English word that I'm thinking of, I'll know it because I studied from English to Japanese. At the same time, if I encounter a Japanese word that I've studied before, I'll know it because I studied from Japanese to English as well. So I always include both sides for every deck that I make. When I started this, I started this years ago, right? And over the years, I've um, uploaded hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, actually thousands of cards um, to my Japanese deck. So this, there's this one particular deck called just Japanese, like it's really plain, and I uploaded so many cards from different textbooks and different resources, also the Japanese demystified book that I found at Barnes & Noble. I uploaded a bunch of vocabulary from there, uh, as well as different websites and even some learning video games, I believe. I didn't know at the time when I started this deck that when you create a deck, unless you mark it as private, it is set as public and anyone can uh, use it. Anyone can study from it on the website if they have an account. By the way, Brainscape is free, so I highly recommend you create an account for free and just go, start learning. Of course, if you wanted to do extra things, you'd have to create a paid account, which I did because I like the advanced features that they got rid of years ago and made only for subscribed users. I didn't know that my deck was made public and so years and years go by, right, and I'm just uploading willy-nilly, like, oh, here's all my cards. <laughs> Meanwhile, people were subscribing to my deck and using it, and now I've got hundreds, I've got hundreds of learners who have studied thousands of cards. Of course, I'm the one with the highest number of cards studied. I got like 7,000 on everybody, but this is a fantastic resource. I'm going to put the link to my deck um, in the description of this video, so be sure to check it out. It, again, it is free, you just have to make an account, sign up, and then you can use this spaced repetition flashcard system to study a bunch of vocabulary. And right now, I'm actually going to give you a preview of what it's like through my computer. Okay, um, this is Brainscape. Um, I'm not sure it'll look the same for you as it does for me right now because I am the admin, the one who made this deck, these decks right here. And this is the generic Japanese deck that I was telling you about that I had no idea went public and now has 486 current learners. I was really surprised by that. 
Um, anyways, you can, I'm going to put a link for this in the description. There are so many resources here. Um, decks about Japanese demystified series, chapters one and two, Japanese from zero, even, and then we get down to Nakama textbook series, and then eventually to Yokoso 2 series, and then this is where I started my advanced Japanese class, and we used this intermediate Japanese series, and then went as far as these, like, stories and vocabulary and stuff like that. And then here, from Shimane Daigaku on, these are the ones I'm currently making. Now that I'm studying abroad, there's a lot of them. Here you can see the percentage mastered. Brainscape um, calculates that themselves. Not really sure how they do that, but they do. Um, let's go in. I'm going to show you really quick how to use this. You just click study. For example, this Japanese demystified chapter, uh, Oto-san. For, for me, it's already 100% completed because I've already mastered all this vocabulary. There are 99 cards in here. And the computer interface for Brainscape is wonderful because you just press spacebar and it flips the card over. If kanji is included in any word, I always include the hiragana reading on the other side. So if you don't know that this is otosan, if you can read hiragana or katakana, you will know when you flip the card over, as well as the English meaning, someone else's father. Otosan, otosan, so. And if you knew it perfectly, you click five. And it gives you another card. Haha, my own mother, one's own mother. Uh, if you didn't know this, for example, at all, uh, you would put one. And then it would bring up the card uh, more often. For me, the way I study is if, if, if I start a card at one, right, and I get it, and I know it, I move it up one level to two. And of course, Brainscape's going to bring it up again because this is the only card that's not blue, so... Oh, I know this is haha, ha, bring it up to three. Oh, I see it again, it's going to be four. Then it's going to cycle through some other blue ones before it brings back the green one, Okasan. Uh, ha, ha. Now let's say I got it wrong this time. For me, I would just bring it down one level and then bring it back up if I got it right again. So I, if I started at one and I got it right a second time, I wouldn't go straight to five. I would just keep going until we get to five. Caught question. All right. And so there, there's a bunch of different types of cards, single vocabulary, single words, phrases, sometimes um, dialogue like this particularly in the earlier cards, but I'm going to hit done for now. You can study any way you want. These are space repetition, so I think, honestly, it's the best way to study goi or vocabulary. Okay, I hope that was really informative. Uh, I hope it w it's going to be a really useful resource for you guys. Throughout this month of Vlogmas, I will be posting more tips, tricks, resources for learning Japanese, uh, especially for my English audience. If you guys have any suggestions or comments for me, please just leave them below in the comment section or send me a tweet on Twitter. Otherwise, peace.